1 million Samsung Galaxy customers will get Jay-Z's next album for free. New leaks hint to a gamepad coming to iOS 7 devices. And with the weight of the Moto X, some leak specs don't spell a flagship phone. I'm Jaime Rivera. And yeah, I'll admit that I missed you all too. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some Nokia news. For those of you following the fact that AT&T and the company are testing this device, well, the RM877 just left the FCC from testing, and apparently this is the Nokia EOS PureView, beautiful whatever phone that's coming out there. And since we do have an event slated for July 11th, uh, we probably could see a new Tony phone. Um, yeah, PureView phone coming very soon, so stay tuned. Now let's move over to the Moto X, uh, you know, that shiny unicorn that follows the white iPhone 4 in popularity and time it's taken for it to launch. Well, apparently this device won't be that much of a flagship phone. I mean, in times when the 1080p displays are already a standard, apparently this device will only have a 720p display. And at times when the Snapdragon 600 is the standard, apparently this device will bring the Snapdragon S4 Pro. And the question is why? What is Motorola planning with this device? Could we be getting a new version of the Nexus phone, meaning, you know, a Nexus cheap phone, you know, with good hardware, but not great hardware. Stay tuned for the rumors. Moving over to iOS, probably one of the biggest news with the iOS 7 SDK is the fact that now developers can create hardware to tune into the device to use it for different things. Like for example, gamepad controllers as we have some new leaks of Logitech already working on the first gamepad controller to work with the lightning port. And yes, we do know that there are some gamepad controllers out there that work through Bluetooth, but apparently this will be new, unique, and better. Stay tuned for the leaks as apparently this thing will be, aside from ugly, unique. Now let's talk about the Galaxy S4. We've got some new reports that Verizon will now get some unique exclusive variants of the phone uh, that are actually customizable, but it's kind of interesting because all you're getting is really a different type of battery cover since you can pretty much replace this. It's kind of interesting. Let's just hope that they don't come up with this Verizon logo on the home button like some Galaxy Note customers have to deal with. But aside from that, the company CEO also came on record to state that they're gonna be building the first LTE Advanced smartphone and even though LTE Advance is currently only available in Russia you know the way Samsung is they always want to try everything even though well I wouldn't even wait for this phone to come out in the future because apparently it'll be the same Galaxy S4 on the Qualcomm chip um, just get the Galaxy S4 if you're out there I mean by the time LTE Advance gets here um, it's gonna be a couple of years and finally, for the, I'm going to quote this as interesting news of the day. Those of you that were wondering what was happening between Samsung and Jay-Z, well, it turns out that Jay-Z is going to be offering his new album to 1 million Galaxy customers. This album is going to be called Magna Cart Holy Grail, and apparently it'll be available through an application for free for 1 million lucky customers. The album will be out on July 4th, but the app will be available on June 24th, so obviously those of you lucky that get the album will get it earlier than the rest of the people that are going to be able to buy it. This is going to be available for the Galaxy S3, Galaxy S4, and the Galaxy Note 2, but that leads me to the question of the day. What do you think about these celebrity endorsements recently? I mean, I think it's the thing for 2013. You get Alicia Keys endorsing BlackBerry and then she's uploading photos to Instagram when there is no app on the BlackBerry 10 operating system. And it's just kind of funny to see all these celebrities doing these endorsements in 2013 that are not really as effective as these companies think they are, or are they? Do you like celebrity endorsements? I personally don't, but leave us a comment down below. What do you think? A free album is a free album, right? And of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.